All right. We're getting ready to build us a room for under $100, exactly $89.15. I got some board here. These are going to be for my um, uh, studs or my some yucca board. Let's see if you can see the yucca board. Yucca board is here. And we're getting ready to get started. See how this works out. All right. Okay, for me, first step is going to be framing it out. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and make my, my little frame here. It's going to be it's got to be it's going to be 8 by 8 cuz my board is 4 by 8. I got two 4 by 8 boards and I want my frame to be 8 by 8 cuz I'm going to put both of the boards together. Just that simple. And I'm going to cut. I'm actually going to make my frame just a little smaller than well, I'm going to make it I'm going to make it just a little bigger than 8 by 8 because I want it to sit on the ground and my board on the, on it versus the opposite way. But you can go smaller or bigger, whichever way you want your board to be. But I'm going to cut mine here, and I'm going to cut all the pieces the same. I'm going to cut one piece here, um, and once I cut it, I'm going to use it to measure my other pieces. All right. All right. So, so far I've cut my first, made my first cut, and I cut three inches off of my first beam. And instead of keep measuring... And I'm going to go ahead and just lay my other beams and mark them that way and then uh, cut them that way. Okay, we're starting to put the frame together. You see my corners, I'm putting them together. And all I'm simply doing is I'm just taking the two uh, these uh, screws and, and I'm just attaching them straight down from the top, from the top end. And I'm putting two per, you know, because that way you know, give a little strength to it. Okay. All right. Back. Okay, now I got all my corners done. Now I'm going to put the one in the middle, right at the four foot mark. And this one I'm going to flatten the other way because I need, a, just based on, I need a wider surface. And it doesn't leave, lose strength by being wide. So I'm going to lay it down the other way. And, of course, I'm going to go down there and adjust the other end. Make sure I'm right at the four feet mark. But I'm going to have it flush to the bottom. And I'm going to, when I get ready to screw it in. Okay. Frame complete. You got this. Flush to the other side. Right at the four foot mark. Eight foot, eight by eight, all the way around. Now... I'm simply going to flip it to the other side because I want to work, attach my boards with the uh, the end that I put down there flush going the other way, the long way. I have a bigger target. I'm not that good of a carpenter, so I, I got to go in there and uh, do it that way. Okay, we'll see. We're putting the wall mounts up now. So what I did was I went ahead and, and I drilled some holes. And I measured my holes here. They're lining up, and I used uh, a, another piece of board to make sure that uh, that it's straight. So the holes are there, the holes on my board are there. Now what I'm gonna do, right, is I'm gonna take a bigger bit here, and I'm gonna make the holes a little bit bigger, right? Because I gotta put anchor bolts in here. Here are my anchor bolts right here. So I gotta go through that wall with these anchor bolts, all right? So, all right, now I'm going to go ahead and drill my holes a little bigger so these anchor bolts, and I'll show you how I get the anchor bolts in there. My anchor bolts in, I went through there, went through my wood, got my anchor bolts set on the back of the wood right here. Now I'm going to simply get a hammer, tap it in, then when I pull back out, these uh, little butterflies are spread out and won't let it come out, and I'll tighten it up. All right, the bolts are in. Now all I got to do is tighten them up. And the butterflies are open so that when I tighten them, they'll, uh, they'll, they'll get a grip. Wall was not there. 
and the wall is here. As you see, we braced it up here. Put a brace here. Use the anchor bolts, like I said earlier. There, and the wall is up. We try to shake it. Pretty sturdy. Sold in. We braced it back here. We got braces on it right here to brace it up on, to the wall. This is the drywall. And it's braced to a drywall, as you can see. And my man, shake the wall so the people can see here. <laughs> he, 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 he camera shy. But as you can see, the wall is up and serves the purpose. And that's how you build a wall, add a room to your house. And I'm going to add a, a door to you, by the way, too. Uh, that's how you uh, add a door or uh, build a room for under 100 bucks. Okay, so we've been working on our room, but we can't complete the room without a door. So today, we're going to construct a door for the room. And, and, and what the, the door needs to be able to do, it needs to be able to lock from the outside and provide security when she's gone and lock from the inside so that she can um, be able to be secure when she's in there or you know for privacy so those are the things we're going to do let's see if we can make it happen all right all right simply what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this particular piece of wood right here and it's turned into the door i've already cut it seven feet tall three feet wide and i'm going to use it to make my door for my uh, room okay let's see how it goes the project complete as you see what we did we went ahead and we put those studs on the wall and we put the hinges on the studs okay and we, we, we use anchor bolts to put the uh, studs in and then we went ahead and put a handle on the outside we put a locking mechanism on the outside so that you can lock it uh, just simply just uh, take your uh, combination lock I use and simply put it on there and lock it for security while you're gone. And when you're in the room, uh, it opens easily. I went ahead and put those little blocks of wood on the back of the screws for safety, added safety. And then we have this no screws showing so you won't, in the middle of the night, scrape your hands real bad. We got the inside handle here on attached to a block of wood and everything as you can see that handle is attached to the same block of wood and then we have the latch attached to a block of wood to give it some extra strength and then what we did we added another beam on the inside so that so that uh, we can attach uh, everything to the beam our we can attach our outside latch to the beam because if we had just put it on this yucca board it would have been really flimsy so by at, uh, attaching a beam and then attaching the latch to the beam it gave us the ability it gave us uh, the added strength that we needed to make sure that uh we get a good safe lock and there you have it you have a room added for uh, you know a very little money but very effective it gives you security privacy all at the same time and it didn't take away anything from the house uh we didn't damage the house at any just simply if we get ready to take it down oh let me show you the, the uh, bolts here these are the anchor bolts right here we just have to just take those out and put you know just put some hole filler in the two uh, holes that we use and it'll be you know do a little paint job on the house on the wall and that room will be right back to where it started again i just added a room for a little money thanks